Well, the extent of the damage done to the mangroves of Petit True Lagoon from the oil spill remains unknown. While scientists continue assessing the situation, cleanup efforts have begun. This has all been monitored by the Tobago Reforestation and Watershed Rehabilitation Program to determine the next steps. Here's more. The upturned bow of the Gulf Stream wreck points towards Petit True Lagoon, almost as if signaling where some of the leaking toxic oil-like substance is ending up. Sean McCoon, Public Relations Officer of the Tobago Reforestation and Watershed Rehabilitation Program said significant damage is observed. We have seen the effects of it from the boardwalk side and we also from the lagoon side we have seen that the influx has happened. The extent of the impact is yet to be fully ascertained but it is affecting an already compromised area. What we know right now is that the area that was significantly affected by dieback is the area that has been absorbing the, the, the majority of um, the oil-like substance. McCoon explained that over the past five years, the mangroves have been experiencing dieback, which occurs when a significant portion of the mangroves start drying up. We have had sargassum influxes. We've had reports of dumping. We've had all the debris coming from boats and so on, and um, other marine activities making its way into the mangrove ecosystem. This compounded by the oil threatens the resilience of the Petit True Lagoon. Its loss means the destruction of a nursery for marine creatures, a vulnerable coastal area, and the destruction of a tourism site. Both the Institute of Marine Affairs and the Environmental Management Authority are conducting assessments on the mangroves to determine the impact and what portion might be completely lost. In the meantime, Kaizen Environmental Services Trinidad Limited, Heritage Petroleum Company Limited, and volunteers are working on cleaning up the oil. And they would have been sucking or there would have been trucks on hand between Lambo Beach and a few other areas affected sucking out all of the oil-like substance to extract with a view of extracting um, the substance. Based on scientific data gathered, the Tobago Reforestation and Rehabilitation Program will formulate a plan to begin restoring the mangroves in the Petit True Lagoon. Candace Jackson, Tobago Updates, Television News.